Hey guys, we're back. It's Project I Want to Live, week 23. I'm Vanna. And I'm Melissa. And this week we wanted to uh, spice things up a little bit more, go outside, get some fresh air, and do something fun. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to bring you guys along with us too. So we have a short clip of uh, our day at the track, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Hi, Melissa. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. We're here at uh, the track, and we have the, the skyline of New York City. Very nice, very pretty. And uh, what were you doing? I was split walking and running uh -huh. on the track. And it's a lot harder when the track is wet, let me add. So. Okay, cool. How many miles did you run today? Uh, a little over two miles. Okay. Under, right under 400 calories. Cool. I'm sweating. Am I sweating? I'm so hot that I can't tell. <laughs> yep, you're sweating. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good. I feel really good. I feel good because this shirt is new. Ooh and la la. It's, you see? I see. It's a large, not an extra large. Not an extra large. Awesome. And these shirts are usually very, very clingy, and it fits pretty good, I think. So, yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, eventually, I want to get to the point where I can run without stopping, but I'm not a runner. This is about my fourth time running, and I feel like every time I'm getting stronger, my endurance is getting better, so just keep going. That's the model, right? All right, cool. Yeah. So, well, congratulations on your progress. Thank you. And uh, we'll check in next time you're at the track. All right. All Bye. right, Project I Want to Live. All right, great. Bye. Welcome back. So, definitely, I'm super proud of Melissa. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Because I saw her out there. I just happened to, like, come from work and be at the track. So, unfortunately, I couldn't work out, too. Mm -hmm. when... Next time. <laughs> next time. Yeah, next time for sure. Um, definitely going to plan it out. So I wasn't there. I was just there, you know, like viewing, watching and everything. And I was really impressed and I was really happy mm -hmm. because, I mean, I, I can only imagine, you know, and we'll check in with Melissa, you know, how she felt and the emotions of like just going through running because she's not a runner. This is something that, you know, she's definitely challenging herself to do because it's out of her comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can't expect yourself when you're trying something new to go all the way around and, you know, running through the whole time. You have to go at your own pace and really keep pushing and pushing and pushing yourself. And I did see her do that today, and I'm really proud. She's like, okay, I did a mile, so should I do another one? I'm like, well, are you like dying? And she's like, no. I'm like, all right, go do another one then. <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely had a good time. And uh, I'm excited because this is something new. And, you know, I remember before we started these videos, if you go back to like week two or three, whenever it was, and we're like, okay, so we're going to make sure that we're going to try working out three times a week. Okay, Melissa, can you do three times a week? Can we commit to that? And she's like, yes, I will. And, you know, now it's like going to the gym four to five, even sometimes six times a week. And even now trying different things, which are way out of her comfort zone, which is running, it's just very really amazing and awesome to witness. So, to, te to check in, Melissa, are you going to be like a marathon runner now? Are you yes! going to be a track star? I'm a 5K next week. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, but yes, tell us how you feel about today, about just working out, everything. I'm such a sap. I get emotional about everything. It's just one of those things where um, it's almost like you're living a dream and your dream's actually reality. It, it's so crazy because really, really, I remember six months ago when I was like, oh my God, I don't want to go. And I was like, it almost hurt me to like get up and go to the gym and try to do 20 minutes on a machine or go through an hour of, of a cardio class or some type of class that I would take. And week by week, month by month, just the consistency of doing it, you get so much better and you get so much stronger. And to actually like look back, the fact that six months ago, I could barely go to the gym three times a week and now it's like a piece of cake. And I never, I'm 28 years old, I've never like been a runner, ever, 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 ever. Never really ran the treadmill, nothing. Like, and now I really want, I can see myself like going to the track and becoming better. And right now I'm still in the infancy stages of like learning, but 
for me, it's really heartfelt because it just, it proves time in and time again that if you just do something long enough and you stay consistent and you work your ass off, anything, anything is possible. So for me to go outside running at a track, that's like a dream come true. And I feel amazing. Um, and I just hope that it really shows people through watching this journey. You remember, you remember six months ago, it was tough. And now I'm running outside. And for me, that just is an amazing feeling. And I don't have the fears that I used to have. Like I used to have crazy thoughts. Like I don't want to run because then my fat's going to juggle and people are going to make fun of me. You may think that's crazy, but I'm sure there's one people that feel the same way. And then you compare yourself to the guy running circles around you. But I'm like, it's okay, because one day I'm going to run those circles too. So it's just another milestone in this journey, and I feel great. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing. You're welcome. And uh, to end things off, this is our update week. We are updating the weight and measurements every two weeks. So from the last two weeks, we are down one pound, mm -hmm. which is which is a total of 229 pounds and a total of 21 pounds lost. Yes. 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 And I wasn't, I was, I wasn't as disappointed as I usually am. I wanted more, yeah. but I was like, it's okay. I just got my menstrual cycle, which is, that means six months in a row. Got that. Awesome. Yep. So feeling good. So that's 21 pounds. I'm like, hey, feel great. Yeah. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And uh, then from there, the measurements with the bust, it stayed the same, but in total, we're down four inches mm -hmm. with the waist. It actually, we actually went down one pound and we're at a total of 6.5. Five. One inch. You said one pound. <laughs> <laughs> one inch, you know, I'm just thinking pounds. Yeah, less than pounds. Less, right? hundred pounds down, amazing. Anyways, um, but yeah, so the so the waist were down one inch with a total of six and a half inches. Ooh. And then the hips were down a half inch with a total of four and a half inches. And we are 15 inches down. Yes. Boom. In your face. Yes. So stay tuned for next week. I hope you guys have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.